Massachusetts Secretary of Housing Ed Augustus was in Northampton today focusing on Governor Healy's Affordable Homes Act. The bill would support middle-income housing opportunities in the state. Western Mass News reporter Taylor Smith has more details about the Secretary's visit with local stakeholders. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, Massachusetts has the tightest vacancy rate for rental properties in the United States. Now with families struggling to keep up with the pressures of rising housing costs and limited availability in the state, the Commonwealth Secretary of Housing and Livable Communities, Ed Augustus, highlighted the Affordable Homes Act initiative in a visit to Northampton on Monday. These uh, buildings that would be built would be exclusively set aside for folks in those more modest income levels to give them the opportunity at home ownership. And we know all the good things that come from that, the ability to build equity and over generations transfer that wealth. Governor Moore Healy's $4 billion plan would allow for tens of thousands of homes to be built with grants for first-time home buyers. Alexis Breiter-Neichert, who is the executive director of Valley Community Development, tells Western Mass News what this bill would mean for them and other affordable housing organizations. So we're really excited about the Affordable Homes Act because it increases the funding from like to new historic levels. So 4.1 billion across the entire state, across many different programs. And as an affordable housing developer, a lot of the programs that are in this bill directly impact our ability to do the work, um, which means that there's more money coming in. And because everything is more expensive, even though the pandemic has started to relent, the costs have not dropped. And so having the money come through from the state in this bill is so so critically important for affordable housing developers to be able to do their job, which is build affordable housing, which is a critical need in the state. Other areas that would also be impacted by the Affordable Homes Act include $800 million going to the Affordable Housing Trust Fund. Other areas that also would be impacted by the Affordable Homes Act include $800 million going to the Affordable Housing Trust Fund. $50 million would be directed to Mass Dreams, which are grants for home buyers. $100 million to Commonwealth Builder, a program that helps in construction of homes, and another $100 million directed towards mixed income housing. And while the housing market moves fast, there is no timetable yet for lawmakers to vote on the act. Should it eventually pass, the goal is to create more than 40,000 new homes in Massachusetts, catering to mixed income families. Reporting in Northampton, I'm Taylor Smith, Western Mass News.